you're with us. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Minnesota Twins. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Brandon Walter. A really good outing that for him last good. time. Scattered two Not runs, was attacking hitters, Jeez. getting ahead in the cow. Great good. performance. We'll see All if right, he can do it go. again in this one. Liner, base hit. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. Well, tack one more no, game onto man. his hitting streak, Boo. Uh, Every day, this guy just day. keeps making his record harder and harder to reach. I still can't believe what he's doing. Yeah, neither can I. It's like he's playing on beginner mode out there. Cy Nixon, the next twin up to hit. That one fouled off two and two. They need a strikeout. And you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Makes the grab. Runners tag up from second and third. And he's safe at third as a run scores. Well, right there, he's definitely looking for more than just a sack fly with the bases loaded and nobody out. But you'll take it. Now it's up to the guys coming up behind him to pick up the rest of those runners on base. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off. Good pitch. Right here. Let's go, kid. The oh, next offering go. misses. Two and two. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Here goes the runner. And a foul ball. He stays alive. First and third, one down. Base hit and a run in to score. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Here's Royce Lewis. Batting fifth, the designated hitter. Royce. And the pitch. Royce. Foul ball there. One out. Runners at first and second. Cavalli picks over. He oh, the throw is wild. Here we go. Here's a one two. Double play ball to second. Good feed. That's one. And that's two. Out of the second from Minneapolis. It's the Twins two and the Orioles nothing. And now here is Joey Weimer. Hey, no outs here. Batting eight. The right fielder, Joey Weimer. On the ground, left side, six. Off balance feed, there's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. The shortstop, Gunner Henderson. Back in Minnesota as we go to the last of the third. And now for the Twins, Steve Rogers. He consistently hits the ball hard. His exit velocity and barrel rate here the tops in the league. First pitch, and he just misses. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. 
Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, yeah, ahead 2-0. He's put himself buddy. in a really good spot. Next offering is foul back. The 2-1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. See it drive it. Let's two go, and two. There's Let's a swing go. and a drive. That one back there. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Now batting. First baseman. Side. Back in target field. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's Nick Senzel. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Now batting left fielder, Nick Sola. Base is full to gone. Steve Rogers, the next oh, twin up to so hit. Singy, sure you can't ask for anything more. This Steve. guy checks all the boxes Roger. offensively. He is the ultimate hey, professional and doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed One off time. of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. That one is absolutely on, belted. And gone! His 56th home run of the season. And they add to their lead. It's 8-1. Great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple. So stay focused on that. Well, he does more than just a knock. It's the Steve Rogers, the next twin up to hit. Now this back. guy is one of the best know. athletes in the sport. With this Roger. kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. In the air out to center, Mullins settles under this one, makes the grab for the second out. The batter, the first baseman, side. Two outs, runner at first. So up next for Minnesota, yeah, Steve Rogers, a guy who Steve. makes an impact not just at the Roger. plate, but also in the field. Wait for your pitch, okay. Right now. Next pitch is popped up. Mountcastle under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Good win by six runs. Always nice when you can win by a touchdown or a couple of field goals. You want to keep that momentum going. Knowing the offense can score at will, bring it into the next one and get another W. 11 5, your final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.